after 35 years in Congress. Eight of those as Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi has decided to pass on the baton. I will not seek re-election to Democratic leadership in the next Congress. For me, the hours come for a new generation to lead the Democratic caucus that I so deeply respect. Pelosi made history by becoming the first woman to hold such high office. Her decision to step aside follows her party's loss of control of the House to the Republicans in the midterm elections. Her legacy was immediately hailed by President Joe Biden, who called her the most consequential Speaker of the House of Representatives in history. Pelosi's latest term was not short on controversy, as she often clashed with former President Donald Trump. Indeed, she was the Speaker of the House who presided over two impeachments of Trump, although he was acquitted by the Senate on both occasions. She was seen as a constant thorn in the Republican side, so much so that she was the target of many insurgents who stormed the Capitol in January 2021, some seeking her out in her office. And we know that the President of the United States incited this insurrection, this armed rebellion against our common country. He must go. He is a clear and present danger to the nation that we all love. The 82-year-old will remain in Congress, representing San Francisco in the House. The favorite to replace her, New Yorker Hakeem Jeffries. The 52-year-old has served in the fifth highest rank of Democratic leadership since 2019 and is widely expected to succeed Pelosi, a move which would see Jeffries become the first black person to lead a party in the U.S. Congress, although it would be as minority leader, not as Speaker of the House.